welcome back everybody to the continuation of our let's play of space exploration cross Tourier 2 and aai vehicles sorry about yesterday but the heat the heat wave here in germany really really got to me and i was feeling absolutely dreadful so i didn't really have the hats to prepare an episode for yesterday but this one i'm recording today and you will see it also today and that will always be true in the future as well ha! <laughs> so if you kind of remember, uh, we were working on this heat shield um, processor over here. And two of the three requirements are already in. And the third requirement is on its way. It's about to be delivered over here. Um, and then we can at least see the heat shield machine over here working. I noticed something about this machine over here. This machine over here is actually working faster than it can process stuff. The recipe over here to make stone tablets has a crafting time of 0 0.5 seconds. So the maximum crafting speed over here is 30. We're sitting at 32. Well, so be it. Here we go. Here come the heat shields, I think, somewhere. There they are. These over here are at least being made at a reasonable speed. Um, so that is fine. Um, and that should be a decent amount of heat shields for us. Uh, but you can see this machine over here. Yeah, crafting is just going absolutely ham. And that's perfectly fine. I absolutely enjoy that. We also get even more heat shields over here. The iridium over here. Oh, those are gaps coming from the input line. Yeah, that's fine. Iridium is a material that we can't really stack much into a train. So, yeah, it only stacks up to 40. So that train that just came here will be leaving again soon again. Um, but at least we are now making heat shield as fast as we can. I'm also researching a couple of spaceship integrity uh, over here. Because um, I think we... Uh, yeah, the big problem we had with the spaceship, of course. Well, let's come to that later. Uh, let's, let's focus on this thing first. And these over here stack up to 50. So one shipment of 40 uh, iridium plates over here should transfer into 40 plus 48%. So yeah, one shipment of iridium plates over here should transfer into one shipment of heat shields. So at least that is going one-to-one. -one. And yes, the big spaceship uh, fiasco last time. Oof. I mean, good news. Um, we now have an outpost on Kuraga, and it looks nice. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I put some more guns down over here because we do need to defend against incoming meteorites. Um, and we got this whole place over here. We got so much oil over here, which we can transport. And I'm pretty sure that oil will be a resource that we will be using in the future as well. So that's definitely a win. But yeah... A couple of people were, well, <laughs> just pointing out, hey, Bolt, remember how you put, like, about a thousand solar panels in your spaceship? And they go, like, what? Shit. <laughs> well, then. Uh, but look at this. We have researched a couple more spaceship integrity. And we can now build a spaceship that is almost double in size. And I think we will do that. We probably will just completely redesign the spaceship over here. Uh, let's go to space and have a new design session of a spaceship. This time around with a suitable main reactor. Um, so that we can actually have power in space. Because the last spaceship had the issue that we just ran out of power. Because I didn't really check how much power those ion engines actually eat. I thought to myself, cool, they run on ion streams. So we just push in ion streams and it'll be fine. Well, turns out, nope, <laughs> that was not the case. Um, let's maybe wait for you to fill up real quick. In the meantime, um, let's have a quick look at our base over here. I think we do need to do, and we already partially did that for, for, for example, for the cryonite rods over here, is we do need to do some rebuilds over here in terms of um, efficiency. You can see over here the iridium plate that we make. It is coming out at, well, a terrible rate. A very, very terrible rate. And the reason for that is, um, yeah, the processing over here is still running. Well, it is running on the advanced beacons. That is good. But it's running slow beacons. It's running slow machines. Um, we need to improve that soon. Also, um, if you remember from last time around, we had a little bit of an issue over here on Yekner. And we still have an issue over here. You still don't have enough liquid rocket fuel over here. Um, but the rocket pad, the pad is empty. So that is good. So let's have a look over here at the one that is going over to Jaegner. Um, not Jaegner, to the um, supply pads. That would be... 
that's Jibble, Elysium, Calados. There we go. This one. And this one is still being loaded up. Okay, that's good. Uh, I did switch around some of the loading mechanics over here into a more common loading mechanic. Uh, even though we probably don't need all of this stuff in the space platform, we are now loading it like this. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. Uh, but you are still waiting on repair packs and stuff like that. Okay, he will probably be shooting over the rocket soon. Actually, we cannot really tell him to go now. Let's just go now. Could always send it on the rocket again later. Good. Um, and yes, this rocket over here is set up to be connected to the Karaga supply pad. And this one is also currently being filled up. Currently waiting on logistic bots. And currently we're waiting on... No, logistic bots, construction bots. And we're waiting on construction bots because we ran out of silicon. And the reason why we ran out of silicon was because this station over here was not set up correctly. Um, this place over here is now at least running somewhat fast. I think we can make it go even faster over here. Um, though these are only filtration plants. Um, but we could double this one down and just make this thing over here go a little bit faster. You can already see that the blue belt over here is not really that full. And well, let's, let's fill it up later as we are ready to go. Um, I'm just going to hit the launch button. I want to go into space. I want to build an improved spaceship. Now, for the improved spaceship... Hmm, I'm kind of thinking... Get up there. I'm kind of thinking that um, we could just go with the massive design or maybe with a small lander design in the spaceship. You know what we should do? I know exactly what we're going to do. Um... Okay, we do need to move the spaceship for this one. Um, let's move you somewhere a little bit easier to, to maintain you. There we go. Uh, we do want to probably empty out these tanks over here. Mm, let's start with that. So, let's put down... Two extra tanks over here. And... Two extra tanks over there. Oop. <laughs> Spacewalk. There we go. Um, everything with the tiles. There we go. Where's the connection? The connection is over there. And then same thing over here. Mm. Come on, bring me my stuff. There we go. And then pump reverse. Pump reverse. Um, and then two of these. Two of those. Um, yeah, let's flip you around as well. Here we go. Because we're just going to do the following. We're just going to take some of this. Hook it up directly. Some of that. Hook that up directly. And then we're just going to empty out these tanks real quick. Uh, because I do want to pick up the tanks. And, well, if you pick up the tanks over here, we would just be wasting the stuff. There we go. Off it goes. Goes into the air. Excellent. Good, good, good. Now, I'm still going to go with, with the front of the spaceship like this, but we're going to make a more special backside of the ship. Uh, and it's a thing I've been thinking about for a while, and we're just going to make that. Okay, this thing is basically empty. If we waste, like, a little bit of that, like, that's still left in the tank, so be it. Good. So, you there. Um, do the check one more time. Check is good. Uh, we're going to launch into orbit. And then we're just going to land it over here for now. Good. So now we're a little bit further outside. Um, now, of course, um, these over here are working. And you can already see that they are draining kind of fast. Um, probably because of these over here. Let me just pick up you. Pick up you. Here we go. And now they should not be trading as fast anymore. Uh, let's pick up all of this. Let's pick up all of that. Uh, we are going to be picking up all of this. And all of that. And the floor as well. There we go. Good. Oh, I did have enough space for me in my pocket. Perfect. So, we're going to be redesigning the ship a little bit. Um, let's have a look. Okay, we, we should definitely have... The lock again over here. Ooh! 
Don't start flying. <laughs> um. Good. And then let's just maybe go with a bit of this. So I want to make something like a shoe. <laughs> uh, there we go. There we go. Oop. Like something like a head unit and a back unit. And the back unit is going to be for, for big space cargo hauling. And I just noticed that we have built this over here, but wrong. Actually, have we? Um, yes, we have. Um, pick up this, please. There we go. And then we just do this, that, this, that, this. So we're going to have something like this. So we're going to have a front unit and a back unit. The back unit is going to be mostly um, chests and stuff. The front unit is going to be like the landing unit if we want to land on um, planet side. There we go. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of that stuff in our back pockets. Um, then, hmm, how about we do something like this? Uh, maybe stay in there. There we go. Um, so one, two, and then one, two, and then one, two. And then it's one, two, three, four, and then one, two. Wait, it's one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then we just go down. Sure. All the way over here. Okay. Now, we do have to mirror this a bit. Um... Gonna be a bit of a thicker boy over here, but that is fine. Ooh. And all of that over there. There we go. There we go. Good. We do need something like a big reactor in this one. Um, there we go. And then can we copy you and flip you? Uh, let's copy you with the tiles. And flip you. Wait, did we not copy over the tiles? Tiles, please. It didn't show the tiles. There we go. Good. Um, I have more of that stuff in my pockets. There we go. Oh, never mind. Is that still connected over there? <laughs> nice. Um, that's good to know. And then comes the back parts. Let's see. How do we do the back part then? Mm. Now, we do want the thick core. So we go something like this. And then how about one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mm. One more like this, and then this will be one big engine block. And then let's take the whole thing over here, flip it, and put it over there. Good. And then this will be where the back engines are going to be. Here we go. <laughs> Looks a bit weird, uh, but should be fine. Good. Let's fill her up. Oh, God. Floating in space is, is kind of hard. And then all of this, all of that, all of this. There we go. And then do some more over there. That should be fine. Uh, I still have some more in my pocket as well. There we go. Good. Does the roll port reach all the way? Oh, it does reach all the way there over here. Probably because of this boy over there. Um, here we go. Good. Uh, let's just do this real quick. Um, and let's hope that we get some more stuff over there. Um, we don't have any floor tiles anymore. Uh, I think we are bringing in floor tiles via um, rocket ship. But then again, we have to probably wait on that. Um, but can we already use the console over here and check if it's fine? Um, yes, whole stress-wise, it seems to be correct. No, it's only, only checking the front of it. It's not checking the back of it. That's a bit of an issue. Uh... Yeah, that's not good because these parts of here are missing. 
Um, so we do need those parts. Uh, let's have a look. We could maybe fly back over here real quick and try to pick up some more. Um, it is you, but you are still being prepped. God dang it. Hmm. We could fly down with you and pick up some more. That's definitely something we can do. So let's let's do that. Let's detach. And then detach this, detach that. Here we go. Because that's the whole purpose of this um this this thingy over here. And then we just take you, we check again. And then it goes like, yep, everything is fine. And then we just go to novice. Launch. And this time around, we will not run out of power. <laughs> because these engines over here don't really use up that much power. Here we go. And then we anchor. Uh, now, I have made the landing pad over here. So we can land over here. We just need to figure out where... I think it's over here. Yeah, perfect. So then we can just refuel over here. Uh, we got the fueling station over here that is fueling up uh, the liquid rocket tanks over there. Perfect. Uh, and then we're just going to pick up some extra spaceship materials. Let's just up this to like 300. Actually, we don't really need that much. 100 is fine. 100 is perfectly fine. We already have everything we need for this. Um, we just need a little bit more. Here we go. 100 and 100. Good. And that's perfectly fine as well. Uh, you're ready to go again. And I think we can just fly back. Now, um, do we have some more rocket stuff over here? I think we do. We got the iron engine over there and stuff like that. Let's pick up some of those. We do have 10 iron engines in our pockets. Never mind. But we might want to take, pick up some more booster tanks. We definitely want to pick up some more booster tanks. And I see that we are ordering them up via bots. So, 2020. That is fine. We got all the clamps. We got all of this. We got all of that. Sure, bring me those booster tanks, please. Good. There they come. Four, ten. There we go. That's all I need. And then we are going to be flying back. There we go. So you, we're going over to Novice Orbit. There we go. <laughs> I guess there was some kind of lag. <laughs> oh, we also got the engines over here. The fluid isometric engines. Look at them. I was kind of wondering, like, what am I hearing over here? And then we park it up like this. And we go. And then we just make you. Oh, these, these flu, fluid isometric engines, they, 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 they sound horrible. There we go, there we go. And then, check. Okay, and now we can see that we are far over our maximum hull stress. Um, that is perfectly fine. We're just going to make the ship a little bit smaller. I mean, the back end of the ship over here is definitely a bit, how to put it, fake. So, how about we just go up? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, which does mean that we can pick up this, that, this, that, all of this, all of that, all of this, all of that, all of this. That should be fine. How's it now? A little bit over, but we can make it a little bit thicker because we are going to get another research done soon. So... Nope, like this place. How about two out? How's this? Perfect. That is perfect. That's exactly how I wanted. Excellent. Uh, and then we can start putting some engines over here. So, how many engines can we fit? <laughs> Like one over there, one over there, one over there, one over there. 
and one in the middle. That's a space of one in between. That's a space of one in between. Um, we can do it like this. And then we got like a big booster engine at the end. So these over here, this does eat 50 megawatts of power. So if we do it like this, we do have to add in 50 megawatts of power. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Also all the fuel over there. Uh, we can put in the refueling line over here if we need to. So we can just make like a pipe over here that goes to there. Uh, but ship power. Ship power is now the thing that is the interesting part. Um, I've already said it a couple times that sh for ship power, I can kind of imagine maybe putting like either a fluid isometric engine in here. Um, and use that. Um, but for this, we would then need some kind of source of steam. Now, we could, of course, just put the fusion generator in here. Do I still have one of these on me? Yes. Um, no, cannot be placed on spaceship. Okay, we can't put the fusion generator in there. Um, we could put a big tank of steam in there. We could just go and um, remove that. Take an advanced steam turbine. Oh, cannot build on spaceship floor, so we can't put these in. Okay, good to know. Um, so I guess we do need the fluid isometric ones. The fluid isometric ones we can put in on the spaceship. That's definitely something we can do. Um, and these over here, well, these over here only power up to 2 megawatts of power. That's not good. Uh, requires liquid fuel as an energy value, such as liquid rocket fuel. Wait, those are the fluid isometric. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Uh, don't really want those. Um, we want the condenser turbine. There we go. These we can put on the spaceship. Uh, and these put up power out of... Hmm... 75% of the energy efficient energy uh, of steam turbine, but 99% of the steam is used as return as water. Uh, and then higher temperatures decrease steam consumption, wait, decrease steam consumption instead of increasing power efficiency. Okay. So we can put in 900 degree steam. We can put in 900 degree steam. How do you get 900 degree steam? Uh, let's have a look at that. We, we do have steam over here. Craft. <laughs> I mean, we got like 5,000 degrees steam. Um, that's 975 degrees steam. How do I get 900? <laughs> I do like that the electric boiler can make 5,000 degrees steam. Um, that's nice to see. Uh, but that will not work as well. So what else do we have available? Mm, how about the normal steam turbine? Also only goes up to 415. Uh, we got the singularity reactor. Yeah, no. And then we also got the... The other thing that we have is the... Where is that thing? The high temperature turbine generator. Now this thing we can put on the spaceship. <laughs> and this thing puts out a gigawatt. Um, that could work. We could use this, we could use this as an engine. Um, it would require some research though. Uh, when did we get that thing? Um, turbine. Oh, I've got caps lock on. That would be stage four science. Um, but we could put one of these in here. A big big steam engine and then just one of these and one of those and that's our engine <laughs> oh my um that's definitely a thing um also it puts out water on the sides so a large generator that takes 5000 degree in steam it consumes Steam at a rate of 400 to make a gigawatt of power. Um, this thing over here can store, what was it, like 100,000? 200,000. So that's about 4,000 seconds. That is about 
a couple of hours. Uh, let's see, 60 seconds is a minute. 3,600 is an hour. That's an hour. An hour is fine. An hour is perfectly fine. And then you also put out colder steam over here. We could then use that colder steam over here. I mean, the steam that we put out over here is 500 degrees. We could put that in a condenser turbine. But we do need to do something about the water. <laughs> we need the third tank. We need one more tank where we can store the water. Um, that's a bit of an issue. These over here... Hmm. hmm. I mean, we can place another tank if we move this whole thing around a little bit. They kind of like the placement over here. It's 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 nice and in the middle. I like this one. I really like this one. Um, now what we could do is these over here. They store fifty thousand. We could try something like this, and try something like that. There we go. <laughs> and actually, now to think about it. We got some dead space over here. And yeah, pick him up, pick him up. Uh, let's make you a little bit wider over here. And then you over there. You over there. I wanted one lower. Um, you over there and you over there. And then same thing over here on the other side. Hmm. Here we go. Uh, with the tiles, please. Flip. Flip. Here we go. Because then we can do the following. Uh, let's get the book of pipes. Um, like a nine pipe over here, a nine pipe over there. Ah, oh, this one just connects. No! <laughs> no! Unless we do something like this. And that. Um, and then we have some space pipe. Wait a second. Um, pressing the wrong buttons. Space pipe over here. Uh, you over there, you over there. And then you over there, and you over there. <laughs> so, now comes the question. How do, how do we refill this thing over here, then? Um... We can't flip you. Unless... No, we do want this over here. We could move the whole generator down also one, if we want to. Actually, why not? Yeah, and then you over the air. You over the air. Um, get the pipe, you over there, you over there, you over there, you over there. Um, not quite sure what we're going to be putting over here in the middle, but that will be fine. But then <laughs> we have an access way over here and an access way over there. Uh, we can also move you down by one and you down by one. There we go. And that should be fine. <laughs> it's a lovely generator, I have to say. Um... Now, we have a plan over here that we can refuel over here, but that plan is now out of the window. If we flip this, it will connect. Um, hmm. 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 How do we refuel this then? We could make it lopsided. Or we just take out an engine. That will be the other option. We could... Ooh, wait a minute. Uh, we can definitely take out an engine. Mm. And then maybe even move all of the iron stuff over here in the middle. Mm. And maybe just have a little bit more of an iron buffer. That could work. Yeah, sure, why not? And then we can make you and you, and then space on the ground, you and you, 
So we can refill over here. And then the only thing we need to do over here is connection over here. Mm. Now let's do it different. Let's do it like this, that, this, that, this, that. There we go. I would love to play, be able to place this thing over there, but we just can't. So we have a little bit of that space over here, but that's fine. We can put some storage in there. We can always put some storage in there. Good. <laughs> oh God, how is this for storage now? Um, blah, way too much, way too much container stress. Um, that's not good. That's terrible. Unless we just go down with these and just make it less grand. Like one of these, one of those, into, yeah, that, that will be quartering it down. We, we, I don't think we need that much. And then this whole thing suddenly shifts and changes into something more handleable. Um, yeah, let's place you over there. I think that was already the place it was the first time around. Um, you over there, you over there. Mm. Can we put a space vent in here? Can we put a flare stack in here? No. <laughs> we can't put an exhaust in. Dang it. Um, I guess we just move the whole thing up in one. And then... Ah, oh, but that, that ruins the whole concept of the extra tanks over here. Dang it, dang it, dang it. And we can't place these over here. Mm. If we flip it upside, that will not work. Well, for now, I guess we're just going to put you over there. And um, we'll have to have a bit of a think about this one. Uh, but that would technically be our engine. And let's have another look over here at the integrity check. Yeah, now we're way better. Now we are way better. Good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. And with that, we have a generator. So the, the trick over here is going to be, we're going to fill up this, no, actually this tank, actually it doesn't really matter. This tank or this tank, uh, we're going to fill it up with 5,000 degree steam. Uh, then it will propagate steam over here into this tank as well. We can put down a second turbine, actually, don't think about it. We can most definitely put down um, a condenser turbine. Now it looks like a, now, now it looks like a really weird engine. <laughs> Uh, but we can definitely put down one of these as well. Um, and then we get water out of this one. Mm. Can we move this whole thing? Like this. Sure. Uh, but then we can... Uh, okay. <laughs> we will figure it out soon. We will figure it out soon. I also still need some doors for the outside. Um, let's put them over here. And over there. But you get the drift. This is going to be the detachable at the front. And in the back, we're going to have um, a big engine um, that we can supply with steam. I'm just probably going to have to move this around a little bit until I'm happy with it. Symmetry is, of course, a thing that is very important in, in the games like these. Uh, which is also the reason why putting the engine over here is still my favorite. Nope, don't do that. Uh, there we go. And we could put in that other engine as well, but I think doing it like this is fine. And the more I think about it, the more I just go like, you know what? Let's do it like this and that. And then it just looks gorgeous <laughs> and we keep it at that. <laughs> but that does mean that we need to unlock tier four signs before we can actually use this ship to go into deep space. And I think this one over here is the way to do it. We could still add another tank over here and another tank over there. Uh, so that we're not at 200,000, but more at um, a more reasonable level. And the more I think about it, the more I go like, yeah, this is the correct way to do it. Uh, and then we can try to shrink wrap the ship a little bit. Um, and maybe even pull this up a little bit so that we don't waste as much space. And then not quite sure what we're going to be doing over here. Storage, crafting, whatever. We will see. Good. So if you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, um, a subscription. 
every one of those actions does help me out in growing this channel to something bloody amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash boltviking, where we do a whole bunch more of Factorio. We also do a whole bunch of RimWorld and GTFO, um, which will also be this evening. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening, and until next time, see you around!